Grad assistants have been protesting on campus in Ann Arbor, in Flint, in Dearborn, and now here in downtown Detroit at U of M's Detroit campus. Despite the threat of being forced back into the classroom, grad assistants say they're not going to stop until they can earn a living wage. That's a shameful act to do. That's an anti-labor stance. It goes against the kind of values that the university usually represents. Richard Bachman is a PhD student at the University of Michigan and a ranking member in the union that represents grad assistants who are now in their fourth day of a strike. Hey, hey, ho, ho. Bachman says this strike is about negotiating a living wage for grad assistants who have a heavy workload but also have a lighter than desired paycheck. And they obviously cannot afford paying for rent on this uh, wage and they also oftentimes cannot afford grocery bills. The GEO union wants to increase pay for graduate assistance from 24K to 38K. They also have many other demands, but pay being at the core of this strike today in downtown Detroit. And we are fighting for affordability and dignity for all grad workers at the University of Michigan. The university has maintained they're at the bargaining table and have since filed an injunction trying to force grad assistants back into the classroom because the university says the union is in violation of the current collective bargaining agreement. Bachman admits they are. However, he believes the courts will side with the union. We are confident that we are able to um, come out of these hearings and continue our strike. Well, grad assistants have a big day in court tomorrow in a Washtenaw County courthouse. A judge will rule if they'll be forced back into the classrooms while they continue to negotiate. That's happening tomorrow at 10 a.m. In downtown Detroit, I'm Gino Vici, CBS News, Detroit.